It's Mom and Pop Video Shop. Welcome back to Mom and Pop Video Shop. I'm Tyson. I am Joel. And uh, I think up to this point in today's uh, pantheon of recordings, uh, I've done all horror, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I have done two comics. Yeah, you broke the mold a little bit. So uh, I'm going to break the mold a little this time, too. Nice. It's not what I would call horror. It's definitely thriller. Okay. Uh, definitely noir. Uh, with a couple other noir. labels that uh, I'll add once I show you what it is. So okay. you guys know what it is at this point. Joel do does not. not. This one's from 1996. Okay, so hold on. 96. Mm-hmm. You're a scream. It's not a horror. Oh, it's not a horror, though. Okay. Thriller, 96. Mm-hmm. All right, I don't know. I'm going to try. It's New York. It's, uh, well, like, what can I say? New York all of a sudden. New York. Noir. noir. It's noir. Noir. Okay. Yep. The uh, team behind it went on to do uh, a much, probably more famous flick okay. a few years later. What was that one that they went on to do? Uh, once I tell you, I think you know what it is. Oh, okay. But uh, it, that one would actually be The Matrix. Oh, it's Bound. From the Wachowski Brothers. Okay. And it is Bound. <laughs> Ready for funny? Never saw it. You've never seen Bound? I've never seen You're Bound. You're kidding me. Nope. Got me. I, I got him on a different one, which if, this if, if, if by this time it should have come out, which is Better a, Off Dead. This is such yeah. a weird day. Yeah. It's been a weird day. So 1996, Bound. I'll read from the back of this, and then we'll talk about it, because I freaking love this movie. Okay. And hopefully I give you enough material that you can at least comment on instead of just standing there and looking the way you do. <laughs> so... According to the back of the box, Corky, yeah. played by... Gina Did you say what? Did you say Corky? Corky. As in life goes on? Well, it's spelled the same, but not okay. the same. Okay, okay, Because so. I feel like that. This, what I do know of this movie, that'd be... Okay. Corky, played by <laughs> Gina Gershon. Okay. Uh, a tough ex-con and her lover, Violet, played by Jennifer Tilly. Got it. Concoct a scheme to steal $2 million of mom money and pin the blame on Violet's crooked boyfriend, Caesar, played by Joey Pants... Better known as Joe Pantoliano. Pantoliano? I think Pants is easier. Joey Pants. Uh, In this neo-noir thriller from the writers and directors of The Matrix Trilogy, Robert Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. Robert Ebert or Roger? Did I say Robert? Sorry. (laughs) Roger. Roger Ebert. (laughs) Who the hell is Robert Ebert? I don't know. His brother. He works for... He works for... his cousin. He works for the the Tampa Bay Tribune or whatever. (laughs) Uh, Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times, called it scary, funny, sexy, and exciting. Mm-hmm. And Liz Smith, of the New York Post, mm-hmm. declared it as one of the best movies in 1996. Okay. Uh, Tyson, from the Mom and Pop Video Shop, would say that it is probably the best lesbian neo-noir crime thriller that I've ever seen. I'm trying to think of what, that, I feel like that's a, probably is a subgenre, but I just off, yeah. off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else that would fall into that. Uh, the stellar cast also includes John P. Ryan mm-hmm. of Runaway Train, right. Christopher uh, Maloney of TV's oh. Law and Order, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Oz, and I believe at least one season of True Blood. Okay. Uh, and legendary director Richard C. Serafian. Okay. Uh, Vanishing Point. Okay. Wait, the original Vanishing Point in the 70s? He did that? That's cool. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, as the mob boss. Beautifully shot by Bill Pope, uh, who they've got title in the hair, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. So that's it for the back of the box. But I feel like um, most of the uh, visual team involved in Bound went on to do The Matrix, which yeah. is why upon rewatching this, you will see that a lot of the big, famous shots from yeah, yeah, yeah. The Matrix, they did first just on a smaller scale. Really? In Bound. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So I already kind of hinted uh, at it. This... Uh, Man, it's like a. If this had been done in the 30s as a black and white femme fatale noir crime film, it would have been badass. The fact that they did it in 96, it is in color, but it's very still purposely shot um, blacks, whites, reds are strategically color is used in the. Mm-hmm. Uh, so from a from a artsy fartsy point of view. Uh, this is a masterpiece, I think. Hmm. Uh, the plot is really, really freaking solid. Um, again, without spoiling too much, basically you've got Gina Gershon who's hired to um, renovate this apartment. Um, I don't know if we specifically say what city it is. Chicago, maybe. Maybe I was, I mean, literally Chicago was the first thing I popped my head because when I, I remember, remember sure, of it, it had a Chicago vibe. It's a big, it's a big city, but uh, at any rate, she's uh, in this apartment building, uh, renovating an apartment. Well. The apartment next door is owned by uh, Caesar, who launders money from the mob, and his girlfriend Violet, played by Jennifer Tilly, who is amazing in this for all kinds of reasons. Um, they kind of get a little thing going, 
So apparently Jennifer Tilly is not just into the dudes and yeah. Gina Gershon. She's not even just a Joey Pants pants. No. Gina Gershon definitely is not into just dudes. Uh, so they get something going, and then they decide uh, they're going to concoct a plan to rip off Caesar um, mm -hmm. and have him take all the blame. And then it turns into this lots of tension, very Hitchcockian at moments. Okay. Like, like, um, uh, so kind of like, like Shallow Grave, that which you did very, a while back. Very much so. Like, they like that indie crime thriller. And it follows a little bit of the, okay, we're going to do this plan, and then all of a sudden the plan goes wrong because yeah. what's supposed to happen doesn't yeah. happen, and now what do we do? Jersey then, Diabolique. Shit. Yes. Okay. Is it yeah, like it reminds you of... Yeah, 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 very yeah. Diabol okay. Diabolique-ish, okay. uh, I guess. Um, but casting-wise, they're great in this. The cool thing about Jennifer Tilly is, let's be honest, Kind of plays a type, right? Sure. The voice, the look. She's a perfect femme fatale, mm -hmm. right? To the point where you would expect, as is typical with, especially the classic femme fatale movies, that um, she's going to get vulnerable and kind of freak out at the end. You know what I mean? And, and what's cool about ba uh, Jennifer Tilly's character in Bound is she is calm, cool, collected, and a badass from start to finish, and never turns into like the dumb blonde. I guess yeah. is what I'm trying to, yeah. to say. You know, yeah, the, the, the stereotype. The, of... She uses the she uses the Jennifer Tilly voice and her sexuality to when manipulate. She yeah. needs to, but it's never like like when the oh shit moment comes in the, mm -hmm. the plot. It, it, it's like she doesn't turn into that helpless woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so very cool. I and here's the thing. I first saw this uh, probably shortly after it came out. Um, I guarantee you this was a free HBO weekend for me. Yeah. So it was one of those that, you know, what is this? And as like a, what would I have been? A freshman in high school. Uh, I was, suffice it to say, pretty intrigued by lesbian crime noir uh, <laughs> uh, film. But I think even the sex in this, um, I think it's tastefully done. It is R-rated for all kinds of reasons. And I do think, obviously, there's some nudity in it, but... I feel like it's been maybe a couple years since I watched this, but upon rewatching it, it's not as much as you would expect. Yeah, it's one of those like you remember to be given the more, cover, yeah. given who's in, given the premise. You know what I mean? It's not like softcore lesbian porn by yeah. any means. Which but he was very disappointed by. I know it. I know it. I know it. Well, and here's what I was gonna say though. Like even as a freshman in high school, like I didn't go into this thinking, you know, now this is considered one of the greatest, you know, queer films yeah. ever made, and. I didn't know. It's just yeah. like, oh, it's, you know, it's too, yeah. and that's, you know, we talk about that all the time is too often. I think people try to make a movie and hit you over the head with, yeah. uh, well, they were just telling a great story and they happened to have characters that exactly. Yes. And I mean, it was, they, I, it was a decision to yeah. make the yeah. two main characters yeah. gay, but dude, it has nothing. This is, you could, you could substitute as long as you had actors yeah. that could carry the yeah, weight. They're that good Jennifer characters. Yeah, no, yeah. You know that I mean? is an, it's, it's an element of them it is not, and obviously, and it's part of the plot in a sense, mm -hmm. right? Otherwise, they wouldn't hook up. But it doesn't require, like, it's not. You don't feel like there's somebody behind the scenes going, and this is what you should think about right. this. But what they do, and again, once you've seen this a few times and you start watching for other things, you know, where they do do a, a, a little bit of that is, again, some of the artistic choices they make. Yeah. You can watch, say, oh man, like that is. I could see why gay females at the time watched certain mm -hmm. scenes that weren't sexual at all. Yeah. But, you know, close-ups and this and certain... I don't want to give too much away, but but certain elements that that recur mm -hmm. uh, through the through the movie where you can look at it and say, okay, this movie's hot as hell. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you read between the lines. And, you know, at 16, I wasn't reading between lines. I mean, don't <laughs> get me wrong. The girl-on-girl -girl stuff was cool, but... But there's no buts. To me, the cooler part was um, was the crime plot. The the Joey Pants is at believe it or not, I think in this movie is at his like mobbiest. Oh, okay. You know, okay. Including his stint on The Sopranos that, that okay. he did. Um, I still he he is. I, I, still, so... I still haven't. I still haven't seen The Sopranos. So. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> He's very mafioso. Got it. Though. And yeah. then it just dawned. I mean, he went on to work with them on The Matrix. As yeah, well, of course. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, and you'll say, I want you to see this so bad because you'll see so many yeah. like, oh man, it feels. There's the the apartment that they're in. It very much feels like The okay, Matrix. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I'm gonna have to watch it. There's yep. definitely. I, it's one of those that I never. It, I remember when it came out. I remember thinking, oh, that'd be cool. And then I just never got to it. Yeah. You know? And this came out in that that string of like, uh, uh, remember like. Mulholland Drive, yeah. Mulholland Falls, yes. even, you yep. know what I mean? Yep. All those sort yeah. of... We had, there were, Red, Red Rock West, I think, came around. Yeah. There was I mean, a lot of those, like... Late 90s. Mid to late 90s, mm -hmm. neo-noirish 
kind of movies. Yeah. So I joked earlier and said this is the best uh, lesbian neo noir gangster mm-hmm. crime film that I've seen. Uh, all joking aside, I will say, period. This is probably the best neo noir crime movie of the '90s, with the exception of the Usual Suspects. I believe that goes without saying. I'm just gonna say it. Is it better than uh, okay? This is on the same shelf, right next to Pulp Fiction. Right. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's so, that's that's a heavy lift, my friend. Usual Suspects is at the top. I'm gonna put like Pulp Fiction and Bound, honestly, right right next to each other. This is a fantastic. Movie. Okay. But again, I know not all will agree with me, but unless you're an absolute prude. Yeah. I don't think that there's a whole lot of people that, if you've seen it, let us know in the comments. But if not, when you watch it, I don't think there's a whole lot of people that are going to say, well, that was just a piece of shit. And it was just, yeah. it was all about the sex. And uh, not the case. This is a fantastic movie with fantastic suspense, dialogue, uh, cinematography. You got to see this movie. Joe. Okay. So I guess that's all I've got. I give it a two. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> that's all I have for 1996's Bound with Jennifer Tilly right. and Gina Gershon so and Joey Pants. What do you give it? Five tapes. Oh, for sure. Wow. This is a five taper. Okay. That's a, uh, all right, man. And I know I'm going to be honest. If I see it, I'm like, eh, it's fine. All right. Trust me. Okay. I, I do. I, oh, sometimes. So I guess. Except for about Blues Brothers, obviously. <laughs> oh, we're going to fight. <laughs> we'll, we'll fight on that. I'm making it sound like I hate the movie more than I do. I don't want to hate that movie. Anyway. All I that. like Bound better than I like the Blues Brothers. Okay, that that's that. that I don't know. This just, it, it, again, it's, I, it was a time in my life. I remember a lot of those. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Usual like Suspects you, you was a free just, HBO weekend I, I for me, feel, too. Well, you know? you, yeah, yeah. I have a whole other story. I'm sure we'll do Usual Suspects at some point. I have a story around that. But the the thing is, like, for you, I feel like you react to those movies in the same way I do about, like, those early 90s interloper movies. Like, mm-hmm. A Lawful Entry, Hannah Rock's Cradle. I get that way about those. Like, you're getting about this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my... I like the my dark, thriller artistic... Nugget. Yeah. I like... Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I like neo-noir. And again, it's something like, you know, as a horny 16-year-old, I should have been all about the lesbian yeah. love in this yeah. and I wasn't yeah I mean that's the thing it's it's the, the their characters wasn't no I mean of, uh, of course it I didn't hear there what I'm saying it wasn't the most important yeah. thing to be uh, characters and plot yeah. and it's just a, it's a great movie that's cool. all I'm gonna say so cool. I got nothing else to say about 1996's Bound yep please go and see it if you have let us know what you think in the comments and I guess in the meantime remember at mom and pops our love of Risky business, also with Joey Pants as a gangster type figure, <laughs> Never and seen. and and a character named Joel uh, who hooks up with Rebecca De Mornay. Yeah, you wish. Just saying. Slightly tonally different than Bound, but a little bit. It never stops. Mom and Pop's video show.